This is the reason why I don't really like talking about these little areas that are being highlighted, even if the Hurricane Center declares it an invest. This is invest 93. Two days ago, it had a 30% chance of developing. Yesterday, 20%. Today, 10%. Basically, this is just something that the Hurricane Center is watching, but when they give it the 10% chance, that is almost a death sentence. Now, not this feature, but models are hinting at next week we may be watching something try and develop in the Caribbean. The GFS has been a bit more aggressive. The Euro just started to pick up on it. Now, the GFS, as I mentioned, far more aggressive with the developing system around Cuba or in the Caribbean. But again, this is the end of next week. Most of the models agree. Anything that tries to form in the Caribbean will get kicked out toward the East Coast and stay out in the Atlantic. So I don't think we're going to be threatened by this system. We're just getting a little too late in the season for really any additional tropical threats. It'll be something to watch, but again, there's nothing there right now. Milder overnight with mostly clear skies, lows in the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow still a nice day, just a little warmer, a little more humid, a high of around 85 degrees. And then that front moves through. If we see any rainfall, it'll be early in the day, a high of only 75 degrees, breezy. Beautiful day on Saturday, a high of 73. Still very nice, a little warmer on Sunday. And as I mentioned, doesn't look like that front is going to make it. Maybe if it gets close, but I don't think it's going to do anything to our temperatures. Highs will stay in the low to mid 80s through next week.